Hi, this is Rod with Custom Chronicles YouTube page. Today's project is some home decoration here. What we're looking at is a uh, plank of wood that came off of dock. Obviously weathered and whatnot. And we are going to paint this on there. Obviously this is what's going to get painted where it's pulled out. But that's our project. We're going to go through this and uh, we've got to replicate this three times, including on this one here with the cleats. So there it is, the next project. And, uh, well, let me get into it. I'll start showing how we uh, get this all done. Okay, typically I don't use vinyl cutting because uh, of the amount of time frame that I have. I have used vinyl cutting on this job. I don't have a vinyl cutter, so I typically just uh, lay it out and draw out the letters myself. But we got vinyl cutting because we got to replicate this uh, basically and do it in a day. And uh, so anyways, here's uh, the, the thing that's laid out. And I got to measure... From the edge of the the wood here to the bottom of the letter so that that's straight and then i got to do the measurement right to left so once i get the artwork centered up i will uh show uh what i do next all right now that i got this uh centered up from you know the edge here of the board and then basically right here over and from the bottom of the letters to the edge of the board here. And mind you, the board's probably not 100% straight, so there's going to be a little bit of flubbing in there, but that's okay. But uh, anyways, I got that centered up, so I'll just go ahead and pull this over, lay that out, and see if I can put this camera down. And then I'll just pull the vinyl from the back here. Set this up. I'm so totally not prepared for anything this morning. Just kind of decided I was going to film this or video it or whatever. But anyways, I will come and pull the vinyl. If I can. Because now I'm having problems even doing this. So anyways, this is kind of where we're at. And then I'll just kind of flop this back over. The tape and everything should have held it pretty much in place there. But we will see. Hopefully so. Squeeze it down. Now, mind you, the wood's been blowed off and brushed off and everything, but it's still dirty. We want a sort of a patina look to it. So, anyways, that's this portion. And then I will go ahead and pull the transfer tape off of here. And I'll show that here in a second. Alright, now I got my X Acto knife. I'm going to come and just cut the transfer tape around this here and then I'm going to pull pull the tape now the, I didn't do it on this one uh, namely because I was being cheap and I didn't think about it all the way is, is that I cut the transfer tape very tight to this instead of just putting one big piece down so now I got to back tape this wood whereas in here the transfer tape's already in place so uh, that was another bad judgment call on my behalf right here. So I actually did create more work for myself. But in the same token, I can show the, in the video what this is a little bit better. So it doesn't matter. But uh, ultimately, at the end of the day, I got to, you know, just make sure everything's taken care of. And uh, see how tight that is there. So anyways, uh, i kind of go up here. Oops. I am totally butchering this. I'm not winning this battle. But the, here's the point is, is that, again, I'm just clearing this out so that the paint can pass through what has been pulled on the vinyl. Hopefully I'm filming. I'm not filming a bunch of junk. But 
this just takes a second. Maybe ditching a portion of this video because I'm just absolutely lousy at filming by myself. I can't do this work and video myself at the same time. And I've been saying that in videos and videos and nothing's changing. So, anyways, uh, I'll just go ahead and pull that. Maybe. It allows me. Probably didn't get a good enough cut. Go figure it wants to stick now. <clears throat> Alright, I'm fighting this, so I'm going to put the camera down so I don't mess this up. I'll show it when it's all pulled. Okay, hopefully I got this video going back on track now with uh, out my filming disaster. But anyways, I got this pulled. And uh, there it is. So I'm going to come back and I'll tape this up there. And then all I got to do is tape the ends here, cover this wood up. And then this one will be ready for the first spray. I'm going to spray white uh, for the base and also to kind of fill up some of the uh voids or nooks and crannies or whatever you want to call them and um there it is i'm working outside today it's actually beautiful outside and my shop's a mess and i'm still uh need to get the studio done just like everything in my life i'm a little bit behind on stuff so there it is okay now we got all of this bagged off and if you look at this one here the L is real close to that. It's because it's a broke off piece of wood. Let's see, there it is. Right here. This this whole section is broke off and then it's got cleat from the dock there. But it's an interesting uh, little project here with the dock wood that's been weathered out and then doing this. So anyways, uh, bagged off, we're ready to spray. Now here we are, we're gonna get uh, spraying the white. So, uh, let me get my noisy uh, just broke and started leaking air hose uh, hooked up to the paint gun and go through this process here of getting this first uh, base white down. And the white's also going to be the guy there. So anyways, uh, here we go. All right, I'm holding the paint gun back a little bit because I don't want it to completely saturate. But it's going to take a little bit because the wood's going to soak in the white. toned out and what I'll do is let this dry and then I'm going to come back and do this. I'm not going to show all that but I'm going to do this three times get the white nice and built up and it's on three different planks so uh, that's just kind of showing what the, that step is. So just real quick I am going to flash off this paint do it two more times and then we're going to put on the blue. Alright I'm spraying the blue on and just kind of getting this lay it on it's going to do two coats this direction and then i'm going to turn the board around and then shoot two coats the other direction but that's so i can get in uh, all the crevices and stuff but that's it pretty much it and then i'll pull all the tape now obviously i got the guy masked off and i'll dress him finish up the sun and all that from here after i do these letters after I pull the tape, then I'm going to be hand brushing. That's going to take some time. But I'll show a little bit of that. I'll let this flash off for a few minutes, and then I'll come back and do a second coat, 180 degree this board, and then do two coats that direction, and uh, we'll be good to go. The wood's still going to soak down some of this blue, um, this way it is. But there we go. There's the blue. We're just going to go ahead and... I'm going to start on taping it here. We got the guy still in white. At this point, we're not spraying anymore. We're just going to just get this unmasked. See how it comes out. I'm just kind of curious to know how good this vinyl actually stuck to this wood. It was kind of dirty, obviously, you know, being the dock out, out over the water. 
Well, let's take a look, see if I can get this guy up. Let's see, see how it looks. Not shabby, not shabby at all. And then, feel that. So, fair to use some borderline to make make this area jumped a little bit better. But maybe I'll just come in and paint it white by hand through the thick up there and just give it the edging that it needs. Yep. Look at that. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. So this uh so far so good. I'm gonna obviously do uh do some more uh, work on this. I'm not done just with the spray. I'm going to hand brush uh, around the letters and do the borderline And that's going to take me some time because there's quite a bit here But there it is Not shabby at all I just got to make sure I clean the paint gun which I have a bad habit for some reason or another not doing it So now that I mentioned it, I'm going to stop doing video and go clean my damn paint gun before I have an issue with that. But all in all, there it is. And then I'm gonna do, address the sun here, make that look better. Nice. Okay. <clears throat> uh, I kinda, typical for me, uh, got into doing my job and didn't do any video and I got the Two other planks borderlined out with the, kind of like the drop shadow deal. And uh, so anyway, so I'm just going to kind of go through this briefly. Uh, namely because I don't want to sit here and drag a, this whole process out for 15 minutes. Um, it's just a short video. Uh, part of the purpose of this video is to kind of show uh, different materials you know lettering out and stuff try to you know get people ideals you know i didn't come up with this one this was brought to me and it's a, a job to do for um a customer and it's uh basically just some dock decking so i'm you know at this point i'm kind of just hand painting the borderline around it and the obviously the grain of the wood is going to affect things too here you know we get different soak ins and stuff on this but what i'm attempting to do is is just kind of making this the letters pop a little bit more and after i'm done doing all this which i'm really close to being done i got to do the sun down here uh three of them just three colors and it's not going to take long because fortunately they're small but i'm just kind of going around <clears throat> getting these letters to jump pop a little bit more we want to be able to read this sign from the street and uh, so that's where we're at on this and uh, let me go ahead I'm switching to a different brush now going a little bit bigger get this loaded out right and what I'm going to do is thicken this line up come across here like that and you see where that that uh, break is in the wood from the grain so obviously you know you're not going to get down in there I'm just coming back and I'm just trying to create this thicker line here. I'll come back and clean it up here in a minute. I'm getting this the white paint down in the in the grooves here. Show this briefly. I'm going to cut this off here in a second you know, because I don't want to bore people to death this with that. Now, I see how I went and did that, that angle there with the brush, made the line thin. Now I'm coming back thick, just a little bit thicker. And then we'll come off the bottom here. Same thing. Load up the brush.
of course get down here to the end and it's wanting to run out of paint but this wood soaks it up a little bit too so it'll also tone it down uh where the white isn't so bright i'm gonna clean up that line right there just a little bit the best i can that's not working out so well namely because of the, again the grain of the wood now I'll come back across the top here <clears throat> I still got to do inside here I'm not going to show that in these two letters but I will show how this is all looking and I see how the letters are starting to jump there and then I got these two right there they're already done There we go. So I got to do the suns on both these boards. But there you go. I will show it at the end. The last thing I'm doing on this here is I got to pull this little piece of vinyl here. We're going to go ahead and do a paint the sun here. And it's going to be in three colors. Hopefully I can do this without having any issues. I already got the other ones pulled. And there we go. I'm going to hand paint that orange. Just give me a second and I'll be all over it. All right. All right, here's the orange for the sun. First color, I'm going to use it straight from the can. I'm not reducing it because I want it a little bit thick. And of course, you got that big old hunk right there. Or the groove. <clears throat> I'm definitely not going to be painting that. And then I got another piece of vinyl to pull, and that will be the next color, which will be the yellow. And this is going to soak down into the wood a little bit, which is fine. But that's all I'm going to do on this. Got two more to do. It obviously, ain't gonna take long. Let's see where it's just soaking in already. So I'll come back and hit it a uh, second coat on top of that, and then we'll brighten it up. <clears throat> now we're doing the yellow. Uh, same deal, straight out of the can. We're not reducing it. We want it kind of thick. I'm just gonna put this in here. Go around orange bring out these peaks here I might need to reduce this this uh coming out of can is really thick and again this is all I'm doing is kind of filling in that weight on the outside is my guide for the for the red which is the final color and then I will be done other than flat clearing so anyways you get the point on this I'm not going to keep this going on I'll show uh, show it all when it's done there's the red the final color obviously the yellow I got it on this and that um, I'm not going to do any video of that stuff, but I'm going to show the uh, project after I get it into uh, flat clear. So you can see how that looks over top of everything. It's to protect the paint, keep it clean, and whatnot. We got a nice little visitor there. A moth. So anyways, I'm not going to clear that. I'll get it off of here. But there's the triple kits getting done. So anyways, that's it for now. Okay, here's the finished product with the flat clear out in the sunlight. There is a very slight sheen to it, but it's just the way it is. But the, it's to protect all the artwork and to keep the boards from getting any more dirty. But there's overall three uh, replicated signs.